to uh, do automated backups uh, to EFS um, using AWS uh, tooling and if there were any examples for how to go about that. So uh, we have an example. Uh, here is his question, uh, just to repeat it. I'm trying to implement a better backup solution for SQL Server uh, on uh, AWS EC2 instances. Um, EFS has been mentioned. I haven't tried this before. Wondering if anyone's had luck using EFS for backups uh, from an EC2 instance um, as a network storage solution backed by AWS. Other solutions uh, I've seen is EBS AMI snapshots with, um, I doubt will give me the RPO of 15. So I don't necessarily uh, know the details of why uh, considering EFS, I mean, uh, for the backups and not doing snapshots necessarily just because snapshots will uh, be the least disruptive uh, IO wise and be able, you can uh, do, um, uh, you can freeze uh, the database for a moment, uh, a moment in time and do a snapshot at that time. But uh, you'll have to look at uh, some tools that would do that. For, the, for just doing, like how do you just do backups using AWS tools um, to EFS? We have a simple example on Cloud Posse uh, under a module here. Before AWS, well, one thing also to look into is AWS backups. I, I don't know if it would support this, but we, uh, AWS backups has replaced our solution for this, but this is what we started with. So uh, before uh, AWS backups existed, we implemented Terraform AWS, AWS EFS backup. And this uh, implements the uh, data pipeline, which creates a EC2 instance for the purpose of uh, our, um, calling AWS S3 sync to an S3 bucket to back up that file system. The same strategy could be used to implement any other backup solution. It comes down to a uh, shell script in, in here uh, somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. Yeah, so it's just there's just an inline shell script that it runs as part of that data pipeline, um, and it'll work with all the IAM um, uh, service accounts that you'd need to um, access uh, the S3 bucket without hard coded credentials and things like that. So I'll just share a link uh, to our EFS backup solution. Again, I would ironically I wouldn't use this to back up EFS because there's a better solution now, but for for knowing how to use data pipelines this is how to do it. All right, any other suggestions? Uh, maybe somebody else who's worked on this specific problem? That better solution is AWS backup? Yeah, AWS yeah, backup. Yeah, okay. got it. I've also oh, done, I've also done log shipping, um, like had a, a script that did SQL Server log shipping to S3, like on a regular basis. And then you can actually just restore the logs from S3 if uh, on a new instance, if if you bring it up, just replay all the logs against it. it works pretty quickly. Yeah, and just for clear, like this is like the journal, uh, the 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 binary logs of the database. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. We uh we, back back in the day, this stuff was a lot harder, and we like I think we have a MySQL hot copy command that uh, implemented the strategy that we did then. But yeah, this hot copy here. Mm -hmm.